Hey guys, welcome to Season with Love. I'm Casey. Welcome to my kitchen, y'all. Y'all, today, 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 baby. Hey, baby. We making Escovies fish, y'all. Jamaican Escovies. Yes, I said it. Jamaican Escovies fish, y'all. No, I am not Jamaican. But let me tell you something. You ain't got to be Jamaican to enjoy Jamaican dishes. Okay? Jamaican food is delicious. And I would hate to have to be Jamaican to eat it. And to make it. And to cook it. Okay? You can learn. Y'all, don't let nobody knock you on what you're trying to do. Okay? You can, People can come in your comments and say, Oh, you're not Jamaican. You don't know what you're doing. I worked in a Jamaican restaurant for years. I learned from actual Jamaicans, okay? So, for them, to, everybody do everything different in their kitchen. Whatever sauce you got, don't taste like your sister sauce. Don't taste like your mama sauce. So, because you do it a little different than they do it. You use the same ingredients, I don't care. It still comes out different. You can follow a recipe to the T. But you still gonna taste a hint of difference. Ain't no two dishes the same. Okay? So, with that being said, y'all, we making Jamaican Escovies red snapper fish today, y'all. Right here on Season with Love. So without further ado, <laughs> let's get into these ingredients, y'all. Okay. Right here, I got some bell peppers and uh onion. Now this is gonna go for our Escovies sauce. Oh, yeah, let me grab a carrot for that, too, because it's going to be a carrot in there. going to have some carrots in there. Put that over here. We got our peppers. You know, you can use whatever color you want. I'm using a Cubanel, uh, a red frying, a green frying, and a green bell in this one. Red bell pepper and a green bell pepper. Whatever come in these mixed pepper packs is what I'm using for my Escovie sauce today. Okay, these are a dollar at my local grocery. Um, I'm using one large onion. I showed y'all the carrots. And that's for our Escovie sauce. We're going to make this up with some. We're going to need vinegar and sugar as well for this. Okay? Um, for the Escovie sauce. I'm going to save this for last. I'm saving the best for last, y'all. Okay? So, let's get into our... We're going to go over our seasonings next. I'm going in with some dry thyme. Only because I don't have fresh right now. If I have fresh, I will be using fresh. I'm definitely going in with some dry thyme, allspice berries, garlic powder, black pepper, onion powder, adobo, and y'all, we're going in with that season with love, seafood seasoning, okay? Right here, make you some. It's up on the channel, okay? Um, it's in his own video, I believe, okay? up on the channel we going we also i also have some salt over here but that's for the pid resistance okay guess what i ain't french either y'all <laughs> okay that's for these red snapper right here okay we're gonna use some salt to wash these red snapper i don't like to wash my red snapper with vinegar okay i just don't it, it gives the, the fish i don't know what it, it does something to the skin for me so I'm going in with y'all. I got these limes sitting right here. In here with this beautiful fish. Cut and ready to wash this fish. Let me show y'all what this fish is looking like. My goodness. Y'all got to take a look at these brothers right here. Oh my goodness y'all. Look. Look. Somebody look at this. Twins y'all. <laughs> oh my goodness y'all. Aren't they beautiful? They are absolutely beautiful. I'm going to so enjoy devouring these brothers today. My goodness, they look amazing and delicious. You guys, stay tuned. I'm going to wash up our fish. And I'm going to meet y'all at the stove when we get ready to fry these bad boys, okay? Y'all stay tuned on Season With Love. We making Red Snapper Jamaican Escovie style.
Okay, you guys, I have our red snapper fully seasoned. Okay. Now we're gonna sit this to the side, put it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to fry. I'm gonna prep these vegetables and everything, and when we come back, I'm gonna meet y'all at the stove, okay? All right, you guys, as we continue, this is what I had to go, you know, get some scallions out the garden. I had to go get some green onions from my garden. So, um, well, I didn't go. I had to wait for someone to go for me. So, all right, we're back with, uh, we need green onions because they wasn't in the beginning, obviously, because I didn't have any in the house, in the house, but we need green onions to perfume our oil that we're going to fry our fish in, okay? So what we're going to do is put, I'm going to put, because these are fresh picked, just one, one and a half scallions in the oil, okay? I'm going to fry that with the oil, and I'm also going to add these three cloves of garlic into the oil, okay? I'm going to smash them and drop them in the oil so they can perfume the oil. Okay. In my escovie sauce is going some the thyme, the pimento seed. I don't have much. I'm going to put this all in there. In my pickle. I have my vegetables cut up here. Y'all saw my peppers and I added two small frozen peppers. And I'm going to use a little sugar to balance out the tartness of the vinegar. We're going to add vinegar and water after we I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, we're going to start the pickle in our pot. I'm going to show y'all what we're going to do. All right, you guys. So we're at the stove. Our oil is hot. I'm going to go in with three cloves of garlic and that bunch of, of, um, scallions. I wanted to make sure my oil was a little bit hot before I added them in. Now they're going to infuse and perfume the oil. Okay. When this oil is really, really hot, I'm going to go in with our fish. While I'm doing that, y'all, okay, okay, y'all, while I'm doing that, I'm going to start on our pickle. I'm gonna put our oven on a medium. I'm gonna go on with my vegetables. I put a, a teaspoon of oil in the pan. Okay, because we're going to pickle this, not fry it. Now I'm going in with some thyme, about a teaspoon of thyme, or two sprigs. Okay, our oil is looking very hot. We're going in with about a teaspoon of pimento seed. That's all I have left. Okay, so now our, that our oil is hot, we're going to go in with our fish, y'all. Okay. Mm. Amazing. Got it. Amazing. Okay. Get our fish in there.
All right, y'all. Our fish is frying away deliciously. It looks amazing. We're going to leave that to fry at a medium because they're very large pieces of fish. We want them to be cooked through. You know what I'm saying? If you see your garlic burning, remove the garlic from the oil as well as the, the um, scallion, okay? But you should be okay. Let your fish fry until it's well done. It's a very, this is, I have two large um, snapper here. Okay. So I'm going to get over here to our pickle leaf. I'm going to get over here to our pickle, our SKV sauce. Okay, guys, this is our SKV sauce over here. Let me hold this up. All right, guys, this is our SKV sauce over here. So right now I'm going to add, <coughs> sorry, one cup of water to this, okay? One cup of water. Okay, you guys, I added one cup of water. Now I'm going to add some vinegar. Okay, at least a quarter cup of vinegar. I'm going in with a tablespoon of sugar to start. Okay, I will taste and adjust. You can go in with some black pepper if you like. I keep it simple like this right here. I let this pickle down. You don't want it to be too mushy. So if you do, if you like it that way, go on ahead. I like it a little on the tender side myself. You know. So do what you like. It's your kitchen. Do what you feel. Okay? Life is too short to not do what you want to do. Especially if you earned it. Do what you want to do in your kitchen. Okay? Don't let nobody tell you what to do in your house. Okay. Y'all, we making Escobie sauce right here on Season with Love. All right, you guys. I have flipped our fish. It's turned out beautifully. We're going to continue to cook it on this side right here. Okay? If y'all want to see how I'm going to serve this fish up, y'all stay tuned. Y'all, we making Escobie's fish, y'all. Jamaican style. Is there any other style? Y'all, we making Escovese fish. All right, guys. This is my final plating of my red snapper, y'all. Escovese style. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. It's so crispy and delicious. I'm so proud of it. Okay, because it came out amazing okay i'm serving it with some yellow rice um just some seasoned rice uh colored with turmeric and some stewed cabbage okay and the pierre de resistant <laughs> our pickles that we made y'all on the stove season to taste taste as you go if it's not sweet enough add more sugar if it's not tart enough, add more vinegar. You can use red wine vinegar, white wine vinegar, whatever you choose. You know, add uh, hot peppers, habanero, or scotch bonnet. Uh, you can even make this with jalapeno if that's what you got. I use whatever pickle, I pickle whatever pepper I got. <laughs> okay? And I ain't Peter Piper. Okay? But this is so delicious. I'm telling you, all jokes aside, it is amazing. It tastes delicious. I love it. Okay. Give this recipe a try. If you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe to Season with Love, y'all. I'm in the kitchen by myself, y'all. So, I'm going to try to get y'all some shots and some views. Y'all know I'm going to try to hit y'all with a couple of pics at the end. This fish came out amazing, beautiful. I'm gonna take some pictures and I'm gonna come back and dig into this fish for y'all, okay? All right, you guys. We grab 
grabbing a fork and I'm going in. Okay. Beautiful, flaky, and delicious. And when paired with the pickle, oh, good. it's amazing. Mm. That pickle is delicious. Okay. You guys, give this recipe a try. God bless you. Thanks for watching Season with Love. I'm going to keep getting in this kitchen as long as God allows me. Okay? I'll see you guys next week with another set of videos. Okay? Love you. Bye.